So this video is about neighbor joining method and how we can solve a phylogenetic tree using this method. So first of all, neighbor joining method creates unrooted trees and the length of the branches in the tree are proportionally to the evolutionary distance between the different taxons. And it is built using a distance matrix and it is often considered more accurate than UPGMA method. To build a neighbor joining tree, what you require is a D-table or you can also call it is a distance matrix as shown on the right side. You can see we have four taxons over here, A, B, C and D and we will use these four taxons to build a neighbor joining tree. So the first step of building a neighbor joining tree is to find the value of R. You can see this our distance matrix, it has a mirror image of itself and the only important values here are the 4, 5, 7, 10, 12, and 9. And these are also on the other side of the matrix. Now, each value is known as the distance between the two taxons. For example, the value 4 is the distance between B and A, or you can also call is distance between A and B. So let's start applying this. Our first step is to find the value of r. To find the value of r, what we are going to do is we'll take this formula which is r is equal to distance of taxon a with all the other taxons. So the distance of taxon a with b and similarly its distance with c and its distance with d from the d table will be noted down. We know the distance of r a from B is 4, similarly it's 5 and 10 with C and D. We will add them together and we will get 19. Similarly, we can find the R values for RB, RC and RD. Our next step is going to be to find the value of R dash. To find the value of R dash, we will use this formula. R dash is equal to divide the value of R by N minus 2. N over here is the number of taxons. Since we have four taxons, we will divide the value of R by 2. 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. So since our R A value is 19, we will divide it by 2 and we will get R dash values. Similarly, we will find the R dash values for the rest of the taxons, which is going to be 9.5, 11.5, 10.5 and 15.5. Then our next step is to find the value of D dash. Since you know in the D table we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 values, we will find 6 D dash values and make a D table, D dash table. So let's find out what's the D dash AB is going to be. We will take the DAB value which is going to be 4 and then we will take the RA value and then RB value, add them together and then we will get something like this. So it's minus 17 over here for D dash AB. Now similarly we'll find the D dash values for AC or you can also call it CA and all of the other values and make a table that will look like this. Now from this table what you're going to do is pick the smallest value. The smallest value since these are all negatives the smallest value is going to be minus 17 and you can see the minus 17 is here too. But I will pick the AB value first. You can also pick the CD value. It will not affect your final tree, but I'm going with AB. Now, since it corresponds to A and B, I will join them together in a node Look, that looks like this. I will give the node a name. Let's call it C. Now that I know that A and B are closely related, I'm going to find the length of these two branches. You can call it the distance of A to Z, or you can also call the distance of B to Z. To find that these values, I have the formulas. Distance of A to Z is going to be distance between A and B plus, now we are going to use the R dash values. R dash, since I'm finding A Z first, I will take the R A dash value first. Then I will minus from it R dash B value and I will get 1 over here. Since we know at the node the value is 4 and my distance of A Z is 1, this same value will get distributed to the both sides. 
so that only thing that's left is 3. You can use this relationship or you can use this formula which is for dbz. This time since you are finding the dbz value first, you are going to take the r dash b value. Or using the relation you can easily find the value. Now since I know it's 1 and 3, I will make this length appropriate to their distance. And remember the angle doesn't matter only the relationship of the lines with each other and their length matters. Now since I am done with clustering A and B, my next step is going to be to repeat all of the previous step. I will make a new D table and this time instead of writing A, B, I will write them as Z in the new table. Now to find the distance between ZC or you can call it CZ and similarly this distance between DZ, I will use these formulas. And in this formula you can say since Z is AB, first I will compare A with C, then I will compare A with Z. So you can see over here the distance between AC is right over here which is 5 and then I will take from here the difference of a and z or you can say the distance which is 1 over here so i will minus from it the value of 1 similarly i will compare b with c which is going to be 7 and then i am going to minus from it the value of bz which is 3 and divided by 2 so our these values is going to look like 4 and 9 using these formulas now I am going to repeat all of the steps. If you remember what the steps were, it were to find the value of R, then find the value of R dash, then find the value of D dash. First is to find the value of R and R dash. So R is going to be RZ, RC and RD. I will add the distances between z and c and z and d which is going to be 13 and then to find the value of r dash it's going to be since i have three taxons over here so 3 minus 2 is going to be equal to 1 so when i'll divide the r value with 1 i will get the same value so you can say our r and r dash values are the same now to find the d dash values we will use this formula over here as we had done previously, we will take the distance of Z and C and we will take RC and RZ and we will make a new D dash table and we will pick the small value which is going to be minus 9 over here. Now since it corresponds to Z and C, I will cluster them together into a fork which will look like this and I will name the node Y over here. And now the next step is to find the distance between z and y and c and y. So to find the distance of d, z, y, I will use this formula which is the distance between d, z, c and I will take the r dash z value first then I will minus r c value since at the node I will get 2 over here and then I can use this relationship to find the value of d, c, y and I will get 2 over here too branches length appropriate z y is 2 and c y is equal to 2 if you remember z was connected to a and b in the previous nodes that we had seen now we will join them together and it will look like this so here you can see we have connected taxon a taxon b and taxon c together now the only taxon that remains is taxon d so we will repeat all of those steps and we will make the D table this time instead of writing Z and C we will only write Y over there. So you can say this was Z and C our last D table and our new D table will look like this. Okay so we have written Y over here. To find the value of Y and D we have the DYD formula. We will simply take the ZD value which is 9 then we will take the zy value which is 2 similarly we will compare c with d which is 9 then we will take the cy value which is 2 
and then we will divide it by 2. What we are going to get is 7. Now our next step is usually to find the value of r, then r dash, then d dash. Since you know it's only a single value and there's no other value, we can't find the value of r in the next steps. So we will make this as the branch length and we will connect it to our the last node. Since our last node was y, we will connect d with y over here right and we will write this as the branch length which is 7 this you can see in this tree that a is a and b are closely related similarly c and d are closely related and there is no ancestral node only an unrooted star like tree so as a result, you have applied neighbor joining method to construct a phylo tree for four taxons and you have found the relationship between them. If you have any questions, you can post them in the comments and I will reply or you can watch my video on GPGMA method.